Shalom Daniel, and welcome to the Muna Project. We at the Muna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, uh, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue a little bit more uh, with respect to the circumstances of the spies, Moses sending the spies into the land of Israel, into Eretz Israel, and their um, malignant uh, report. And I want to talk about the people's reaction, the Jewish people's reaction. Uh, to this lush and horror of the land of Israel. It says in the book of Numbers, chapter 14, uh, 14, verse 1, and the people wept that night. Klal Yisrael, the Jewish people, believed the spies' malignant report uh, that they supposedly saw in the land of Israel. They responded to that report in a manner unbecoming, a noble people. A nation that stood at Har Sinai was privy to uh, an unprecedented revelation um, of the Almighty. So, what was their response? They cried. And they cried all night. They withdrew to their tents and they uh, lamented the, the terrible fate that was supposed to uh, happen to them once they crossed into Eretz Israel, into the land of Israel. Now, the Talmud says that. Um, Before I go into the Talmud, well, um, another comment about the weeping. It was a night of um, ceaseless weeping. They, they, they wept all night, but also it was a night of useless weeping, of, of unwarranted weeping. And Hashem, God, responded. And in the Talmud, in Masech the Tanis, uh, 21a, it states that Hashem said to the Jewish people, said the Kol Israel, you weep without reason. I will provide you with a weeping for generation. It's the uh, divine version of I'll give you something to cry about. And um, this refers to our national day of mourning, Tisha B'Av. So many horrible things have happened to our, uh, to our people on Tisha B'Av. Um, throughout our history, the two, just for example, the two Bate Megdash, the two temples, both were destroyed on Tisha B'Av. And it's a day that has served as the harbinger of our uh, Gullus, our um, very long exile, going on um, 2,000 years. God doesn't really tolerate unwarranted weeping, not so much. He's, uh, he has little patience for it. Now, it's appropriate to mourn for a tragedy, as we do on Tisha B'Av, as we do in this, the days of mourning, when it's a national tragedy, uh, a holocaust, the destruction uh, of, of Jerusalem. Those are things uh, that you properly and rightfully mourn. But it's wrong to transform a mishap into a tragedy, to, to, to view a, a temporary setback as uh, some kind of national calamity. It's not justifiable. It's not honest. Even in mourning, even when we're mourning for legitimate reasons, integrity must prevail. Another aspect of um, unmitigated, unwarranted grief should be addressed. Lord knows the Jewish people, the Jewish nation, has undergone great tragedies throughout our, throughout our tumultuous history. I refer to the, uh, the destruction of, of, of the temples, um, the massacres throughout our history, uh, the Romans, the Crusaders, the Cossacks, the Holocaust, um, the butchering of people to this day in the land of Israel. We've suffered persecution, affliction, annihilation, butchering, massacres, uh, extermination on a high-tech assembly line basis. Um, however, the Jewish people have always bounced back. 
we did not resign ourselves to the loss. We took the necessary steps needed to rebuild ourselves, to rebuild our lives, to rebuild our people, and to emerge from the ruins and go forth with courage and determination. We did not permit grief to lead to despair. That's one of the dangers of um, unmitigated grief. Um, you gotta, you gotta dial it back at one point. Yes, mourn, but don't wallow and has v'shalom, God forbid, have a turn into despair. Never despair. Never give up. There's always hope. We always must trust in Hashem. Trust in God. Trust in the Creator. Trust in our Lord. Um, He's stood by us for 4,000 years. He hasn't turned our back, his back on us yet, and he's not about to. He may hide his face once in a while, but he will never abandon us. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Moon Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.